There's so much violence in black schools all over the country, it really overwhelms our ability even to capture a small piece of it. But I, I like this story because of two reasons. One, it shows that something's been happening at these schools for a long time. It shows parents and these quasi-public official school advisory board members coming out saying, oh yeah, if this were west of the river, translation, if this were white kids, we'd shut this city down. And then we have another woman coming out saying, hey, we can't, we can't, uh, you know, our, our, our children, black kids can't go to school anywhere in this country because black schools are too violent. Does that sound familiar to anybody? All right, we're following breaking news right now in the district. Someone shot and killed a teenager in the 600 block of Alabama Avenue Southeast. That's right near Democracy Prep, Congress Heights Public Charter School. Fox 5's Marina Morocco has the latest now from the scene. And tonight, this is another homicide investigation here in Ward 8. You look behind me here, homicide investigators are on the scene. They say this all happened down in that alley, just a block away from Democracy Prep School here in Southeast. However, they believe this student is 15 years old and he's a student at Baloo High School. They believe there may have been a fight earlier today or yesterday at the school that could be connected to the shooting. Community activists here say enough is enough. This would not happen west of the river. This would not happen in War Three, War Two, or War One. The whole city would be shut down. It needs to stop. And for the rest of War Eight, we need to be appalled about this. I know most of them are, but we need to come out to the ministers and pastors and churches. We need to come out. This is our community. Our children in school, they can't go to school anymore and be safe. So what do you do with your children? Throughout the United States, you can't send them to school. The fear that they will not come back home. So it's something we have to do. And tonight, homicide investigators are continuing to look into who may have shot this teenager. They a colossal confrontation. This exclusive video from a Fox 5 viewer shows an all out brawl between students and parents of two local schools. Matt Acklin is live at Somerset Prep tonight, and Matt, extra security was even out there when the students were dismissed today. It was. Uh, there were several officers here. The reason why, Sarah, is this all happened at dismissal yesterday. We talked to the principal about it today. She basically laid it out for us. She said it happened right here in front of Somerset Prep, right where those doors are. Apparently about 10 individuals, others describe it as many more, came here and they started fighting their way in. They were going after apparently two students who go to school here. Now staff was able to block them from getting in the door. One staff member was scratched, but the principal has told parents that she's committed to making sure this is a safe place. The principal watched this video with us and says it was taken in front of her school. You can see the brawl for several seconds, some heavy blows and kicking. This was the scene as school let out today. A D.C. police officer on the scene, staff from the school lining the sidewalk, and parents concerned. I have a daughter in seventh grade, and yes, it's very scary. Because um, like I said, first, of, like, where's the security? They need to enhance security if you ask me. There is talk that this was connected to an ongoing feud between students at two neighboring schools, Blue High and Somerset Prep. But the principal could not confirm that. Parents want more security here. It's hard because the administration, they get overwhelmed. And it's like the kids don't feel safe. And in order for them to feel safe, they band together to try to fight against whoever's coming up here. And that's not the way it should be. Now keep in mind, Somerset Prep is a charter school. But we did get a comment from DCPS. The reason why is they say that some of the kids involved in this fight, some of the students attend Baloo High School. Everybody in DC knows that black schools are violent, hyper violent, hyper dangerous. You guys remember that Baloo story we did a year, a couple months ago about how about how they, the school officials promised they were going to have a 100% graduation rate, a 100% rate of going into college. That turned out to be one big fat lie. And now we come to this clueless white reporter reporting on black violence in the school. Everybody in Washington, D.C. knows this brawl, quote unquote, 
brawl, large-scale episode of black mob violence, a riot at the charter school was connected to the shooting the week before. It was some kind of, I don't know, I want to call it a retaliation, but it's it's like the Hatfields and McCoys out there. These things start, you know, 8,000 years ago, and then they just do not stop. And this reporter looks into the camera pretending he doesn't know anything at all about this ridiculous level of black mob violence in schools in Washington, D.C. This is happening all over the country. But even more than the violence happening all over the country is the denial, deceit, and delusion from reporters and public officials exactly the kind we just saw here. Pretend it's not happening. Just so the just so they won't make the black kids angry. 